Hey, Jeff Howard here, PKS, and I want to explain a little bit about the KISS bar and the bar length and sizing. I've got a lot of guys asking me, and I want to let you know. So because they have these winders that extend out here, which you can see, uh, this is your winder and where your main line comes out. A lot of bars are di directly connected to the lower bar, and it's basically a straight line, and that line is connected that way. So what I'm trying to say here is a KISS bar with winders that stick out like this it will fly a size bigger than it actually is. So a 45 would feel more like a normal 50 if that's what you're connected to. And uh, let's just say a 40 would be a 45, a 45 would be like a 50, and so on and so on. Now I want to explain to you why. So you can see how we're directly connected straight to the same point at the bar, but one goes out on the winder and I've got little flags on here. So what happens is, is you get more leverage because of this. When you go to turn, that is angled outwards and keeps it to a further out position point, which gives you more leverage, as well as it moves that line a little bit more. So I'm going to show you. I've got my hands here even, bar even, and when I pivot this and keeping them, you can see the difference on those flags. Those were the same exact mark, so it's easily an inch plus more on that bar and the leverage, and you can see the point at the bar and then the point where it's going to be pulling from the winder point. So I'll pull that back again and even it out and you can see it's even and it also works the other way. So if you turn up a little bit, you got a little bit out, but mainly it's when you pull down that you can see the main advantage. So when you go to choose a KISS bar and the winders uh, and what size you get, the links are measured from here out on these winders. So 50, 45, whatever it may be. But remember, a KISS bar will give you more leverage. So if you're normally flying a 60 out there and you don't have these winders, then you can go down to a 55. Anyway, I want to explain that so people understand. I have some people asking, and it is a huge advantage. I fly a 50 on my 9-meter chrono, and it turns it so fast, it's crazy. Um, I use a 40 and a 45 on my smaller inflatables. Anyway, that's the ex little explanation of bar sizing and how to choose your bar sizing for what you're wanting to fly.